Bully in Lake Mary, Florida. See more better with freeprescriptionlenses.com. But call me Mo, Mo Better, because I'm having you seeing Mo Better, looking Mo Better, and show everyone else how I bring that loving feeling back to glasses when I cut the Transitions Extra Active Gray with the Blue Flash Mirror. I'll get back to you for the Oakley 8149, the Pitchman R Carbon in color 02, the Satin Gray Smoke. I'm wearing the color 03, the polished clear. Um, let's take a look at the 02 satin gray smoke. Of course, the hard shell Italian leather Oakley case, Oakley cleaning cloth slash carrying bag. When it's not in the carrying bag, you can use this to clean your lenses, even though you're going to like mine much better. But uh, comes with a plastic sleeve on the left temple to protect the temples from rubbing together during shipping. I'm going to put that on there when I ship to you. Again, this is the Pitchman R Carbon. And hopefully my camera will pick that up. It is the Oakley 8149. Got to pull away see what it says. Color 02, the satin gray smoke and the 50i size. And actually says satin gray smoke after that. So... There's a color 01, which is the black. Color 02, satin gray smoke. Color 03, polished clear. Which one looks better? Of course, you're saying, wait, I can't see the black. You want me to show you black? Everyone out there watching, close your eyes. Okay, that's what the black looks like. Now, now that we've cleared up any confusion, let me put mine back on. And we're going to have a contest to see who looks, who's looked better. And everyone's welcome to leave a comment in the comment section below. If anyone says that his glasses look better than mine and you end up buying from me, your price just went up. <laughs> this is my sandbox. These are my rules. <laughs> you got to play by my rules. Ow, I'm pulling my hair out. Get away from the GoPro camera strap. So I'm going to pop out the original demo lenses. Of which you will receive. I'm going to put your frame into the tracing element of my blocker. Program the shape into the computer. Your secret agent 2582. And hit the start button. Actually, before I hit start, I am an authorized Oakley dealer. But I was told that as a small independent optician, I'm not legally allowed to post pictures of frames on the website. Where I've much to reach a certain size, I can now do that. Having said that, it's going to take me a good long while to get all the Oakley frames posted onto the website. So, if there's a frame you want, go to the Contact Me page of the website. Tell me which model number, which size, if there's a choice, which color. And I will check on price and availability. If you really want to be nice, upload a picture of your prescription and pupillary distance. Tell me what lens options you want, and I can get back to you with an exact price and time frame of how long it's going to take. Having said that, bully, you lucky bastard. That's a medical term. I'm not sure exactly what that means. The lab, there's only one lab in the country that does the extra act with the flash mirror coatings on the extra active. These are made by Essilor. That lab is in California. Today is March 31st, 2020, otherwise known the middle of the Corona scare. Hopefully it's the middle. It may be the beginning. But this lab in California is going to shut down for three weeks. You got the very last pair of the flash mirror coatings. Now, having said that, if I had done my due diligence and I was smarter, I also offer Zeiss lenses. I did not know that Zeiss does the lenses too. Essilor does them in six colors. Silver, gold, green, blue, red, and pink. Zeiss does them in four colors. They do a blue, they do an amber. Again, I should have done my homework. But don't worry if anyone out there wants it. And I just had someone purchase ten minutes ago. Same flash blue. So we'll see how that looks next week when it comes in. These lenses, on, on, under normal circumstances, take two weeks. The Zeiss, I was told today on the phone but with them, it takes one week. So we'll compare that week from now. Same for, actually, the really pretty version of your frame. <laughs> Who's the bully now? You know, this frame looks better. We're going to do it in my frame next week for Scurvy, who just purchased literally less than 10 minutes ago. So, now let me go ahead and begin tracing your frame. Now, Bully is called that because of his golf buddies there in Lake Mary, but he also goes by the name Rafa or Raphael, which I think is a really cool name. But anyway, a little stylus is going to pop up, go around, trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left. 
here at freeprescriptionlenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You buy any genuine authentic Oakley frame that I offer and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number, so if you have vision insurance, you will receive your out-of-network vision reimbursement. I do not take insurance, but if you have health savings account flex dollars, you will get the full reimbursement. Now, on my website, you can use MasterCard, Visa, Discover, Amex, whatever you like through PayPal, which is the, the shopping cart, if you will. Now, the health savings account, PayPal does not accept health savings account flex dollars. So if you have that, go to the Contact Me page of the website, get the phone number, call me up, pull your credit card out of your pocket. By now, you would have emailed me and tell me what you want, but then I will notify you or give you the phone number to call so you can pay with a debit card over the phone, your health savings account card, excuse me. You can also do that with any credit card. You don't have to pay through PayPal. It's your call. But anyway... By the way, I should have mentioned, this is video number 996. Four more videos after today, you'll get an egg roll. No, I'll hit the 1,000 video mark. How about that? Nobody ever talks about that. People, start talking. Places, everyone. Tout le monde, tout le monde. Okay, let's move on to the next screen. I've got to enter some information. i got to math. Excuse me while I think. Pupillary distance is 63 divided by 2, 31 and a half. The computer starts at 32.5, so I'm going to tap the minus button twice. It goes down in, inc in half millimeter increments to 31.5. I want to raise the optical center up at least 2 millimeters. 1, 2, let's go 2.5 millimeters. We're going to cut at 24 high. 24, we're going to go 2.5 millimeters above the center of the frame. The blue cross is the geometric center of your frame. Your eye is just above that in inset. So get your lenses prepped. And actually, I know this is your right lens because your prescription is so close, I want to be able to tell beforehand. Again, did I mention this is my sandbox? You're not going to make me look bad in my own sandbox. So, axis wheels already on 90. Power drum already, well, is on plus 50. It was on the astigmatism correction. Put it in, rotate the lens until the spherical component comes into view first. Actually, this is the right lens. Let's turn that over there. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. Get everything signed up. Now we're cooking with peanut oil. Do the coronavirus. We may have to be cooking with solar panels or a magnifying glass. I'm going to go out there and cook some oodles of noodles in the sun with this until I can boil some water. Y'all think I'm kidding. <laughs> well, I, got, I got southern all of a second. Um, I don't know why y'all think I'm not southern. So... Yes, I'm in North, my eyes is from eyes is from North Carolina. The rest of me is from somewhere else. No, um, put three dots on your lens. Mark it R. Let's do the same thing for the left. Turn the axis wheel to 80. Power drum back on 50. Rotate until the spherical component comes into view first, and I'm on that half of the lens. Put the clamp down to hold the lens in place. Check. Your astigmatism correction. Oh yeah, that's the left lens. Put the three dots on there. Uno. 17. Ocho. And this is the left lens, so I'm going to put an L there. And if you guys missed any of that, let me recap. <laughs> you know that bad joke was coming. You know, you could have turned or you could have looked. It was like an ugly... You know, it was like an ugly accident waiting to happen. You could have turned away. You could have turned your volume down. But no, you kept everything up. You kept looking. Again, let me recap. You could have looked away, but you didn't. You saw that joke coming, and yet you didn't avoid it. So, oh, I've got them here. This is a block, or as I like to call Jenny from the block. I need to attach this to your lens while it's cutting. So I need two double-sided adhesive stickers, of which I've got right here. I'm getting all southerfied in this one. The black side is the sticky side. Let's stick that onto the first block, throw that onto the platform, do the same thing now for the second one. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. That silver reflective nodule is a magnet. It's going to do its job twice tonight. The first time it's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the arm. And the reason why I put those three dots on there, it tells me that it's oriented in there just perfectly. So we're going to get this all laid out. Now the platform is in the way. This arm was where 
one of the dots was at. So I'm going to rotate this. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Okay, now nobody's in the way. Get everything lined up just so. Hit that button. The arm comes down, places the block onto the right lens. We're going to do the same thing for the lens that ain't right, which I can identify with. I ain't right neither. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. Line up the magnet. Same pupillary distance, same optical center height, same bat joke, same bat channel, same button I'm going to press to make the block come down and place that on the left lens. Now we're going to come down here. This is the edger. We're done with you. We're so done with you, blocker. Ooh, let's start with you. Let's start with you. You know, maybe I should switch to decaf coffee. I really don't know. What do you think? Anyway, this is the edger. It costs... $40,000. that weighs 200 pounds. I recommend everyone go out, get their own, put it in your golf cart. Then you can ride around on the golf course, beating your friends and cutting your own lenses at the same time. And you won't need this guy with the two thumbs to do it for you. But the actual cutting wheel is this diamond crusted wheel. that's going to grind away your lens material till it's the final size. This wheel in the center is what's going to put the V-shaped bevel onto the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame. So we're going to wake everything up. Wakey, wakey. Job ID number 2582. 2582. Or as I like to say, installment 2582 of my 330 million volume series of making a pair of glasses for everyone in America. And spoiler alert, you're going to want to watch that 330 million video because they're going to have a surprise ending in there. You heard it here foist. Okay, so these are polycarbonate lenses. If they were plastic, high-index plastic, or Trivex, I would select that. I'm not going to polish the edge of your lens because it's not going to be seen. I'm not going to put a safety bevel on the rear, or excuse me, on the front convex surface of the lens. But I am going to place one on the rear concave surface of the lens. So now the magnet's going to do its job a second time. It's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the chuck. Or by now, you know I like to call it the Charles because I just don't know this machine well enough to call it Chuck. So, hit the green start button, the door closes, the clamp shuts, making a terrible sound. And the lens are going to be traced by two white styluses, actually styluses formerly known as white, now they're a little grungy. But it's going around tracing the shape of the right lens, and then the same thing again the second time, measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly and precisely where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing of which I will go out on a limb, I will go out on a branch, I will go out on a twig and say you will have no edge thickness based on your prescription and this frame. But I do cut very strong prescriptions all day long for how much? For free, for gratis, for nothing, for nada, niente, nine, low. I do it for nothing. And that does become a little bit more critical with the stronger powers. Now, the light you see flickering in the background is water. That's there to catch the optical sawdust as it comes off of your lens. Polycarbonate lenses cut dry, where plastic, high-index plastic, and tribex lenses cut wet, meaning the water sprays onto the lens for the duration of the cutting cycle. Now, water will spray onto your lens, but only for the last 20 seconds to wash away any optical debris that you see beginning to form. But your lenses are made out of polycarbonate, which is 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. They are virtually unbreakable. These are high impact ballistics grade lens material. They're the same material our soldiers wear overseas in combat zones in their Oakleys to protect their eyes from shrapnel from flying debris. It also has 100% UVA and UVB protection built into the lens. We know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin there on the golf course in Lake Mary, Florida. This is permanent and never needs to be reapplied, unlike the lotions, creams, and sprays that have to be reapplied every couple hours when you're in direct exposure to the sun. Speaking of protection, the Extra Active have 50 to 70% blue light protection. It has the blue flash mirror on the front of the lens. It has its own back surface proprietary anti-glare on the back surface of the lens. Now, you see the blue on the front. You see the blue on the black on the back. Once I activate these, the, the anti-glare coating will be seen and it will turn green. So, these lenses give you everything. A mirror on the front. The transition's extra active in the middle, the anti-glare coating on the back surface, the blue light protection all throughout, UV protection, 
is all the bells and whistles. So in just a moment, I will open this door with my mind. You like that? I can do other things with my mind. I can melt ice with my mind. I just have to stare at it for a couple hours and then I can melt it. Gosh, come on guys, don't you believe me? I can do anything with my mind except come up with new jokes. So, okay, here's a new joke. I ate a clock yesterday. It was very time consuming. <laughs> okay, all right, so. To see if this fits, we're gonna tuck it in on the outside edges. I have the side I'm working on closest to me. Two new messages. I'm gonna tuck this in, press down the nose, it snaps right in. We're gonna flip this over to L, Ella. Place the magnet into the Chuck, the Charles, the Chucky baby, the Chuckarama, the Chucky Roo, or today I'm calling it the Raphael Bully. Hit the green start button, the door closes, the clamp shuts. The even dirtier white styluses are going to trace the shape of the left side of the lens this time. You can see as it's going around tracing the shape of the left. Measuring the thickness at every point to know where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing. Of which, Raphael, Mr. Rafa, you got none. You got no edge thickness. With the free lenses, you're not going to get edge thickness. If you want edge thickness, that costs extra. Because I'm not just going to give that to you. So, peel away the sticker. Use my hand-approved drying method. Let's go for the three-point shot. Ready? One, two. Oh! Dikembe Matambo said, get that shit out of here. No, you ain't coming in with that. So, we're going to come down here to the lensometer. Spin the axis wheel back to 90, which corresponds to the stigmatism correction of your right eye. I saw that flicker. Put it in over that black dot. Read the power. And I am getting... can't find my flash. I've got a smaller flashlight. I just can't find it. I'm getting plus 50 exactly halfway between 0 and 1 in the black. You see the little plus sign? Minuses are in the red with the... Um, down here in red with the minus symbol. You're in the black with the plus. Just like roulette. The black and minus. The black and reds, I should say. So your prescription reads plus 50 minus 1 at 90. You have two steps of nearsighted correction. You are farsighted. You can see everything far away great, but you need two steps of magnification to see up close. That's what a magnifying glass is. It is a plus. But you only need you know, two steps. You're on the second rung of a ladder. Now, once everything is the correct size, you have four steps of astigmatism correction. Uncorrected astigmatism makes sixes and eights look alike, or the letters P and F. Think of it as the fine two knob. We're going to have to turn that fine two knob to 90 which is on. Let's check that second curvature and we're getting minus 50 now, right next to that minus sign in the red. We went from plus 50 to minus 50. If you had two quarters, 50 cents, and you owed someone a dollar, you'd be 50 cents in the red. That's where we're at. 50 cents in the red. Now, same amount of nearsighted correction for your left eye, but you only have three steps of astigmatism correction. So you have one curve on your eye this way, which is plus 50 two steps. You have three steps, steeper curvature, 90 degrees apart, the X meridian, the Y. And it's how we line those two curves up to make everything nice and crisp. The right eye is 90 degrees, the left eye is 80, a straight line is 0 to 90 to 180, so we're going to turn that line to 90 degrees for the right eye, just shy of that 80 for the left. Now these first two numbers are real values to be concerned with. This last number could be anywhere from 0 to 180. You're 90 for the right eye, 80 for the left, so you have 10 degrees of separation from Kevin Bacon's prescription. So, we're gonna come down Yeah, I'm getting all southerfied in this video. Hang on one second, the cleaning crew is here and I just wanna to talk to them about their schedule for this week during the coronavirus. Okay, I'm back, I just wanna figure out everyone's schedule. So we got the left lens there, grab this, come down here. I have the side I'm working on closest to me. Tuck it in at the outside corner, push down the nose, it snaps right in, off comes that block. Add to my sense of accomplishment pile, as Scurvy called it, and which that it is. When I first got started, look, it's even sticking to all, look, I was such an underachiever. I have little Snapchat, big Snapchat, that's what it looks like. I want this to get so big that I'm going to get a, a double wide coffin, and this is going to be buried next to me. 
I don't know what it is, but you know what? You would think at a thousand videos, whoever gets the thousand video, four from now, they should, w I should raffle this off for a fundraiser. And whoever pays the most for that wins this ball of stickers. This one was dear to me. This one I went out on a limb, went out on my own. It was very scary times. This is since then, since I've moved here. And of course, I'm coming out with my own line of frames. Um, in about two, two and a half months, I have the Christian eyewear. I have other things going on. Um, I'm going to have a frame with a cross on the side here, a cross on the temple tip. My wife said, well, if you're going to put a cross here, can you put a pink ribbon? Because her family's been devastated by breast cancer. So I'm going to have a line of cancer ribbon eyewear. That's going to be the name of it, .com. The first frame with the pink ribbon will say, pray for the cure. The... The Christian eyewear will be John 3.16. There's going to be a frame, uh, Philippians 4.13, that will have a polarized magnetic clip on. But again, stay tuned. And when those start going out the door, oh, my sticker collection going to grow. So let's turn that fine tune knob to 80. Enough about myself. Let's get back to Bully's glasses. Turn the power drum. We're getting plus 50, exactly halfway between 0 and 1 in the blacks. Three steps of astigmatism correction. We're going to check for that. We're going to end up at minus a quarter, one tick mark away from zero. So that is cut perfectly. By the way, what I'm doing is called final inspection. Just make sure everything is perfect. I should point out this is VIP service. I am a licensed optician. I went to college to learn optics and to make glasses. Most places that sell glasses online have a machine operate, and there's nothing against that. Everyone needs to start somewhere just like I did. But they didn't go to college for this. All they do is cut lenses. They're told how to program, lay things out, cut them. They don't understand optics. Years from now, when Raphael needs new lenses, he'll send me the prescription. I can cut them for this frame, pull up this shape in the computer, and mail them right to, the, right to his home. But if there's something bizarre about the prescription, I'm going to pick up on that. And I'm going to call him and say, hey, how well are you seeing out of these? Because something just doesn't look right on your prescription. The... Uh, but now I'm going to do the other part of final inspection. I'm going to measure the pupillary distance, which is 63 millimeters in optical center height. So we have, I measured horizontally and vertically. So I'm going to measure the horizontal now at 63. I'm going to turn the card around, place the PD stick against my thumb. When I place that on there and we hold it up to the left lens, we're getting 63 millimeters. Now to the bottom of the deepest part of the frame, not the lens itself, but the deepest part of the plastic, not here, not here, the deepest part of that, we're going to measure, and we're getting 24 millimeters, so that is cut perfectly. We're going to do the same thing now for the left lens, 24 millimeters, that is cut perfectly. The last part of final inspection is to put these in a three-point stance, also, you know, which is one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three, also known as standard alignment. I was eluding myself, but put them on the counter and press down. There is no wobble. When I take mine off, same thing. These pilot temples are amazing, but this is known as a spatula temple. And these can flip fried eggs, especially when it's uh, your brain on drugs and you got the fried egg in the pan. That didn't make any sense. All that did was really make me really hungry. <laughs> so, but when I take these off and press down, they wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me. These, Oakley, this is a pilot temple. It's designed for, it's called that because if you can imagine a World War II fighter pilot, the old Ray-Ban aviators had straight temples so you could slide these on and off while you were wearing a helmet. You can still do that today with a motorcycle helmet or any other type of helmet, batting helmet or cycling, whatever you could use. But it's almost self-correcting. All my other Ray-Bans, they wobble on the counter, but these sit level on me. Again, let me put mine back on so I can see what I'm doing, yo. So, press down, there is no wobble. Flip them over, press down, there is no wobble. Close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly and they do that neither temple is askew. The other nice thing, this ball joint hinge, I had an orthopedic surgeon say that's exactly the same type of, of joint they put in now for a knee and hip replacements. There's no screws to ever come loose. That's what makes this frame so nice. It's got the carbon fiber temples, which is extremely strong and lightweight. Now you cannot bend carbon fiber down to fit. So Oakley put this wrap into the frame. Now if these were too loose, you could pop the lens out, heat this up, you can get an optician to do that for you. Take a pair of single barrel pliers, single padded, excuse me. There's a pad on one side versus the double padded pliers. 
use the single padded pliers take the lens up heat it up with the glass beads or the hot air put the pliers there bend inward that would tighten it do the opposite bend outward to loosen it if these were too tight and of course you can still bend down at the hinge or up to make these sit level but this is the part in every video that as I clean your lenses I mentioned that there's free shipping anywhere in the US and Lake Mary Florida is in the United States but when you get these in the mail there is a small chance these could fit too loose or too tight however there's an 80% chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other that's because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other and I'm no different I'm part of that 80% as I just showed you but because of that statistic 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them but I got those in standard alignment for you I'm going to go ahead and clean them one last time before turning them dark now as you can see I field test every cleaning cloth before I ship to make sure that it works so if you get this in the mail and you see that wrinkle you know that it uh, that it works I also send out a selfie request in every package bully I would love to have two pictures of you one with you indoors with these clear one with you out on the golf course just so I can be jealous of you but showing the blue mirror coating that would look great also send out cleaning instructions not only for your frame and lenses but for your eyeglass case and for both cleaning cloths so those two will last you for years no other seller does that on the internet and while you're taking selfies and while you're beating all your friends on the golf course take a selfie and hashtag me using the at symbol free prescription lenses and that way it'll go straight to my instagram account and people can see how good you look while you're beating everyone in golf rocking these things now i'm going to expose them to a strong burst of light now here's what you can see again you got the blue mirror which looks like an anti-glare coating on steroids i've got the blue protect anti-glare i just wanted to try it this is zeiss's version of Crizol Provencia, or i should say Provencia was Zy was Elessalor's version of that but you have the blue coating now usually most anti-glares are green if i flip this over i'm going to grab this one the stock lens its anti-glare coating is green yours has that blue look so indoors you've got a really cool aesthetic cosmetic blue flash mirror now let's go ahead and make them really dark as you can see it takes about 30 to 45 seconds for a photochromic transition lenses to darken a little bit longer when you come back inside a minute to a minute 15. now bully and everyone else listening this is important all photochromic transition lenses will turn dark on day one and continue to darken every day they're exposed to the sun the only time they will not work is if you're behind the windshield of a car your windshield will absorb the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays that would cause your upholstery to rot or your dashboard to crack from sitting in the sun all day that's why they don't turn dark in a car now bullies extra active will get 30 to 50 percent dark behind a windshield look at that oh that looks really good so you've got the really intense blue mirror now now when you flip it over you can see the green of the anti-glare coating how cool is that so again you got the mirror on the front the transitions extra active in the middle and the anti-glare on the back surface now when you look out you see gray you have a choice of gray or brown from Essilor only gray from Zeiss when everyone looks at you they see the blue mirror at certain lighting at certain angles now the other thing about photochromic transitions lenses is they're temperature sensitive meaning they will get darker when it's 85 and below than they will when it's 100 degrees outside but I want to tell everyone that let me give these one strong burst because I'm going to keep talking about something the as I was saying they'll get darker when it's 85 and below than they will when it's 100 degrees outside but I remind everyone when it's 100 degrees outside nobody works 100% we all work much better when it cools off so that's got the blue let me do mine I have the Zeiss photochromic blue lenses with the DuraVision protect we're going to see whose looks better but as I was saying the extra active lenses will get darker in hotter weather they're designed for extra active people who spend extra amounts of time outside so they'll get 30, 50, 30 to 50 percent dark behind a windshield they will get um, darker in hotter weather now mine won't get as dark as Raphael's in in the hot temperature but check that out the blue with the the blue protect anti-glare and the polished clear flame the blue mirror and the satin gray frame satin smoke frame now whose frame looks better leave it a quest leave the comment in the comment section below 
and I'll be fair. Whoever votes for this one, I'll just delete that comment. I'll be honest with you. No, I'm just kidding. I, I won't delete anything. So, but those are the options. Again, if you want to see what these lenses look like in the black frame, just close your eyes and imagine. That's what it's going to look like in the black frame. See, I can make anything happen. I have those special powers. But as I keep talking, these are going to get lighter and lighter. Mine are going to play catch up too. They're going to get back to uh, virtually clear. So do me a favor, whether you hated this video or you liked it and loved it, hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. That way and click the bell icon so you will get future, future notifications of frame and lens combinations as they become available. You can, my arms are getting tired. My little chicken wings out here. I'm gonna have to hold these down. So if you have any questions, go to the contact me page of the website. Again, I am an authorized Oakley dealer, so if there's a frame you want, just let me know the model number, the size, if, it, if there's variations, the color, which there are always variations, and email me a picture of your prescription and tell me your pupillary distance, tell me what lens options you want, and I'll check on price and availability, give you an exact price, and get back to you. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram as Free Prescription Lenses, on Twitter as Free RX Lenses. Um, Rafi, hey, look, I got a partner. I got someone trying to steal the steal the show. So, Raphael in Lake Mary, Florida, thank you so much for the purchase of the and your patience. This frame took a little bit of time to come in. Um, it was being shipped from overseas, and with the Corona scare, everything else, there was a delay on everything. So, again, thank you for your patience. Thank you for the purchase of the Oakley 8149 Pitchman R Carbon with the Transitions Extra Active Gray Lenses with the Blue Flash Mirror. And now everyone else has got a chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.